Hello, everybody. Hi, can you hear me? We can hear. You sure? Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure. I hope so. Uh -oh, I lost the tea. We are. He's here. He's here. We're in the woods. We're in the woods. Having a snack break. Have a little random spa to break. Yeah, where um, are we? We're about. We're only a few hundred meters from Garfield. Mm -hmm. Um. Geez, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm pretty close. Maybe 300 meters away from Garfield, uh, straight line, but we took a little road in, onto a pathway to get here. So, mm -hmm. And we're at a junction in the pathway uh, and decided to have a little tea break. Forgot to mention that uh, the tea we brought today with us is our Kimen, uh, Zongzi. Let me zoom in. And I can tell you, it tastes delicious, brewed in thermos. It's really good. Yeah, I was thinking about this because oftentimes it's easy to overbrew at the last bit of the thermos. So I was like, Zongzi is pretty good when we boil it. Uh, why don't I try this out? I put that in the thermos. Yeah, so just I just want to clarify, like when we use regular leaf, it gets a little bit overly strong in the thermos. Yes. Zongzi, on the other hand, needs a good boil, but sometimes it's you know tricky to get it at the perfect point of boil but in the thermos it really tasted good i was right shocked. Yeah. really lovely yeah that would be another expansion of how to enjoy this uh zongzi kimen and a mini update on our new camping thermos setup like new minimal tea travel mm. setup we have a new development which is this we got from Costco because our previous, the black one, is... Uh, I lost the cup. Yes. Straight up. I took a camping. No, you, we have the cup. We lost the thermos. Oh, I lost the thermos. You're right. We do have the cup. I separated the cup to go camping and use it as my mug and mm. ended up losing the bottom, the whole thermos. I don't know, I don't know how that happened, actually. It's still a bit of a mystery. Somewhere, right. somewhere up in... Uh, this is a short diversion. I'll get back to the. We'll get back to the point. But somewhere, sure, we don't know about that part. Somewhere near um, Chalet Restigouche is my thermos, I believe. This was because the tea is hot. Okay, back to you. Back to me. So we picked up a new set of thermoses at Which Costco. Which we didn't do much like uh, to say, oh, we really want this set. No, it was a short of time. We didn't have time to do investigation or anything. Yeah, just, just grab something grab at a Costco. Thermos. We need a thermos. Yeah. So we grabbed it from Costco because it's a good deal. Two for 40 bucks, something, something like, like that. that yeah. And we seem to develop the love for it. Well, we know what we don't like. I'm yes. going to tell them a few things we don't like. So if you're shopping for a thermos, you can watch for this. Mm. Our old one, which was, I think, ooh, a leaf fell right in front of us. Our old one was like a Stanley, and it had a lid that you click open and it pours. But, you know, the seal mechanism beneath was like a, would drop down and allow the tea in the thermos to flow through. And then when you close the lid, it would pull. I think pull. we need to yell at it. It would pull up and it would, uh, and it would jam leaf in it and it would leak. Mm. Um, so we knew we didn't want that kind of closure. And we have experience with that with multiple thermoses. We had yeah. one from China that closed like that. Also grabbed leaf and leaf. We yeah. had the Stanley. And what we liked about these, we, we didn't know we would really fall in love with them, but we kind of have. Right. Dead simple. It's just a lid. The lid seals by closing it and the pouring lid simply unscrews That's too. It. That's so it. there's nothing, there's no, nothing leaf easy. comes out when you pour, but it comes out. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get stuck in the lid mm -hmm. and the seals maintain their integrity. Mm. Heat retention, mediocre. Which I like. Yes. I don't like, I, I In a travel I'm, thermos, you want to drink it. Yeah, when it's too hot, mm -hmm. too good, it's like for hours I cannot drink my tea. Uh, this is good enough. Me, like half day, keep that warm, great. Mm -hmm. And also, I always pair that with a little bottle, which I had a, a proper travel bottle. I broke it. Yes. Doing the dishes. Was an accident. Anyway, it, it, it got <laughs> I'm broken. I'm still grouchy about that. It got broken. So this is a little honey jar. 
honey jar. Honey, yeah, it was an old yeah. honey jar. Yeah, so it has a little seal, like a it's, gentle rubber in it to prevent that from leaking. Yeah, you can throw that in your pocket, upside yeah. down, sideways, it's not going to leak. So and it loses heat. This is so good for winter. You know, you want to warm up your hand, and this is my little hand warmer. And tea can be drank in about a three to five minutes in cold weather. Uh, it's just, just we so should cool. tell people because some people cold weather is like 10. Oh, oh, minus yeah. 20. You got three C, minutes C, in Celsius. Celsius, and it, it doesn't matter really at that temperature, but, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, minus 20 C, and you can drink in like three, five minutes. You can also fill it with piping hot tea, stuff it in your pocket, and it's going to give you a little warmth. It's mm -hmm. like a little uh, warmer. Mm -hmm. So, it's super, this is a super cool hack that Jen came up with to put tea in a non thermal bottle for so that it you know to get it to be drunk on a summer hike it still works just yes. takes a bit longer to come down to temperature yes. and you might not want it up against your body you might put it in a pocket like we put it in our backpack so we don't feel the heat mm. as much i really like uh, to warm my hands with this mm. <laughs> i was just thinking about that and i bought some jars at walmart yes. which are not sealed you gotta tell that bad story because of yeah. we didn't know right I thought a jar is a jar, it's supposed well, to close. And because I broke your jar, I really wanted to find a cute little replacement jar. Um, so first we went and bought, you know, a, some, some, they're not canning jars and they say clearly not for canning, but I thought they would at least be sealed, but they were just little mini baby mason jars with metal lids with no rubber seal. And it, they didn't have the typical two part mason lid. It was a single part, pure metal lid. Long story short, do not buy those if you want to use. And the way you wash and it, and they rust. They rust. They rust, yeah. and then they make they leave a, a tinny. Ah, did it fall over? Just now. Okay. Just now. I'm gonna adjust that. Wait for me, guys. I'm coming to you. My nose rub probably got on camera. Hopefully not. <laughs> well, that proves it's really cold. Okay, it's not that cold. Okay. What? What do you mean? What's Oh, because the tea cooled. Yeah, the tea cooled pretty good. It's not that cold, but it's still cool. Pretty handy. Yeah. yeah, still recording? You got the whole yeah. thing? Even the little drop over? I think so. What were we saying? Oh yeah, the tinny flavor. So the, the lid starts to corrode and leaves a really, really unpleasant tin flavor on the lip of the jar. Oh, mm. it fell forward this time. Really? Just now. Yeah. I mean, I looked away for a second. I looked back, it fell forward. Maybe it's a sign where it's Maybe this plenty. video is over. Maybe it's time to wrap up and say this thermos is working out really well. When you see them at Costco, one final thing I'll tell you is they will be all blue with a blue bottom, a blue thermos, and a blue top. And the other one will have a gray bottom, a gray thermos, and a gray top. And we made this little zigzag because I think it looks, oh, sorry. I think it looks, okay, Jen, Jen did it, but it does look much better. So. You know, just if you go looking for them, don't look for this blue, gray, blue. Look for blue, 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 and gray, 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 and then do this because it's much cooler. <laughs> if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, click the notify <laughs> bell so that you'll know when we make new videos, and subscribe to the channel. Please, if you want. <laughs> Until next time. Oh, is it? Yeah, keep steeping, yes. Keep steeping. Keep steeping. See you guys.